I'm a bigger fish right now. I am with Conan, who's dressed for summer, and Crept, who's fully dressed for winter. What's going on? Where's the confusion with these outfits? Winter? Fucking hell, it's not winter, mate. Yeah, but you've got like a jacket on, full leather jacket on, got a t shirt on, you've got jeans on. You just told me you had a, a quick semi. What are you talking about? You're on one. Yeah. I'm on one. I'm not because it was only a semi. It wasn't even a full one for me to get on anyway. Please. Please tell me why this, this woman's making up stories. It's a big show tonight. You've just come off stage. The crowd went crazy. How are you feeling? I can't even explain. I'm just feeling out of this world right now. Crazy. Emotional? Emotional. Did you shed some tears? Nah, I think a few of the girls in the crowd did though. You did shed some clothes though, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I came out like two-pack today. No shit. Your voice is, is disappearing. I left it in the Napa Hotel. Obviously, my flight was there, I had to go. I didn't have time to look for it, so now I'm just like this, isn't it? How was Napa? Did you have a good time? It was crazy. Did you meet a girl who looks like Amber Rose? No, I didn't meet that girl, you know? No, I didn't stop, I promise I didn't. Just checking, because it seems most people that have been to Napa have. I wiped my um, towel. Yeah, so what he did, right, is he took his towel and like wiped his face. Actually a bit quick wipe under the arms as well, stomach area. I was expecting you to just drop it down your trousers, but you didn't do that, but just the upper body. And then you threw it out into the crowd and caused a madness. I didn't, you know, I didn't even see cause I, like, I, I was teasing and then I threw it over my head. So I, I couldn't actually see it. I'm actually gonna watch the footage back to see what happened, but it was good, man. There was almost a fight over the towel. And I have to say there were some guys involved as well. Like there was a serious like tug of towel war going on on the dance floor over Cash's sweaty towel. Crazy, that's crazy. Hello everybody, this is week to week and you wanted to see me with my boobs out. So I got them out. <laughs> Only joking. Uh, it's time for another Dare Clara here on Week to Week and it is the hottest day of the year here in London. So I've decided that on a hot day like this, what do I really need to do? What does everyone really need to do? They need to get out of the office, to get out of their house and they need to do some sun I, I know when it's hot in the summer, I tend to drift away. When they wear in the sunners, oh. oh. And even in the winter, can you help me put some sun down lotion on? No? Can you help me? No. No one wants to help me put sun tan lotion on. I never thought it would be such a hard job. Sunbathing on the pavement. I need to switch brains. This summer I will rock and for sure have a bunch of young women knocking at my front door. I give them what for, then it's on to the next one. Driving a mad so she's... Great idea. Would you mind putting some sun tan lotion on for me? Sorry? Would you mind putting some sun tan lotion on for me? Thank you. Back. Just on my shoulders, please, yeah. Thank you. Fancy doing a bit of sunbathing yourself? I ain't talking about cheddar when I say I need cheese. I know when it's hot in the summer. I tend to like, drift away. Don't want to get wear in the summer. Thank you, right here. Yeah, just put on my shoulders. That'd be great, thanks. And even in the winter. Really helpful. I'm Thank you. I can't help the way that I feel. Now I'm a public attraction whilst I'm sunbathing here. Mario Brothers, in the winter I'm yours for sure, but in the summer can't help myself, got a lust for more. Like cool, look at that chick right there, pretty little brown round thing with the roses in her hair, not saying. Hi. 
Ah. Do you want some sunshine lotion? Um, no, I'm almost um, You sure? I might need to get there for 45 minutes. Yeah, you can. It's dangerous out there. Would you mind putting some on my shoulders? Thanks. It does. No. I'm from Balls of Steel and you're going to be seeing that show? Yeah. I love that show, but I don't think I'd have enough guts to do the stuff that they do. All right, Clara. All right, Wazzy. All right, Clara. Wazzy. All right, Clara. All right, Wazzy. All right, Clara. You all right, Wazzy, though? Leave it. Did you hire a quad or a, a, a moped or something? Of course we had the quads. It was out there. Who was the best on a quad, you or, or him? Obviously me. You saw how I was rolling on. The, these guys were wearing their helmets. Like, like... Still, I'm you should always strap up. No. Safety first. I hear that still, but sometimes you just have to go. <laughs> <laughs> no protection, isn't it? Your head out. Isn't it? Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Head out, no protection. I am with Jazzy right now, the host of Big Fish, the Champions Tour. How is your voice holding up, sir? Um, it's 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 all right. It's all right. Today has been like crazy. I heard it was gone after the first date. Yeah, it was, it was, it was gone. And then um, thanks to the street teamers, kept making me honey and, um, what was it, honey, what did they put? Honey and lemon? Yeah, honey, lemon and um, rum. You weren't a big fan of it though, were you? No, I wasn't, I don't, I don't really like that. I don't like it. There's other things that I've heard are good for your throat. <laughs> La like um, strepsils. Nah, I have suvers. I like to have suvers. Let my boy Smokey cut your hair. Give you a I reckon it would go really wrong. I dare you to come down to Smokey Barbers in Kingston, in Surrey, in Tower, yeah, and let him cut your hair. Yeah. I bet on it. You see that? That's we betted, yeah. So when are we doing it? Give me a date. Be there as well, laughing. I want to be there. I think Chipmunk's somewhere around. I'm gathering by the screen. Run over there. There's a run over there still. So let them know um, when you're coming, Smokey Barbers, please, and then I'll leave. I'm coming to I'm com going to Smokey Barber's on Thursday to get my hair cut. This Thursday. Yeah. This Thursday. What's that Thursday? What's the What's the date? Thursday, the second of August. The second of August, so we'll be there. We'll be there or be square. Yeah, and you will get a haircut from my barber, Smokey's. He actually he will yeah look after you. Can I have Batman in the back? Like London, a little more cultural, but don't like it when the dames get comfortable. I try to handcuff a man like a constable. Look, I'm oh, not doing your oh. sentence. No mercy in the game, so there's no repentance. I dagger them and leave them. Change like the season. Summer is approaching. I'm part of the motion. Sip a shot, so I'm waving like the ocean. And she's tugging on my APCs, so I guess you could say that it's in my genes. It's simple as ABCs, and I know this. I stay focused, fighting this is hopeless. You're doing sit-ups, getting ready for the sun. Plus, a girl wants. Go to Iron Apple for the fun So go ahead, have a blast if you want to But when you come back, I ain't trying to confront you I know when it's hot in the summer I tend to drift away When they wear in the summers oh. And even in the winter I'm tempted I can't help the way that I feel Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Remember Winter is for the lovers Summer is for the cold To pull me out some patrol Hi everybody, I'm Clara, this is Week to Week and it's time for another Comment Corner! The comments have been stacking up and there have been some amazing comments. You've really brought your A game. Let's start off with this one then. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, this is how it goes. It doesn't say loving it, loving it, loving it. I was just reminiscing about an old garage song. Let's start. Is it just me or is watching Clara interview all these black guys like watching the beginning part of an interracial porn video? Um, I don't watch porn, so I've got no idea what you're talking about, really, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I thought the only thing that I knew about porn is normally the way that it starts is there's like a woman and she's in some kind of distress, like the printer at her office is broken and then there's that bow, chicka, wow, wow music and then this guy with the moustache walks in to the office and then they start getting it on on the printer and then someone else comes in and then they get wound up in all kinds of cables but I've never ever 
ever watched porn before. Dear Clara, you should dress up as a prostitute with chewing gum and a phone in your hand and ask people for a condom or something sexual. Honey, you have not seen me on a Saturday night. That's just like an average Saturday night for me, you know? I ever, ever roll with condoms in my bag. Although, just note to kids, great sex is safe sex. And so, yeah, I just walk around generally saying to people, have you got a condom? Uh, here's my phone. Don't need to take my number. Don't even need to know my name. Let's just go do this thing. I comment. I like the fact that you put a big smiley face at the end. So here's one for you. Even though Clara, not the type of girl you take home to your mum, she would still get frimponged. Stay dental, get frimponged. I get on really well with mums. I have a great relationship with people's mums. Probably a better relationship with their mums than I do with them. Yeah, I haven't got it on with anyone's mum, not ever. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I would still get frimponged though. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is he, a, what does he do? Play, is he a footballer? Is that what he does? Anyway, if I don't know about that, I don't want to get frimponged, but I would like to meet your mum. I think Clara's vagina is a hermit. It lives in complete solitude, totally withdrawn from society, possibly for religious reasons. Perhaps it's a Mormon or maybe a Buddhist monk. Hi! -yah! My vagina is not um, a hermit. It doesn't live in a shell and it doesn't have crabs. <laughs> Hermit crab, do you see what I did there? I have morals and standards and stuff, you know, and someone who knows how to treat it right. You know, it's a, it's a nice vagina and it deserves some respect. So when I get that respect, then my vagina gives respect back, you know? Um, the people that it's tight with, <laughs> it has a good relationship with. And the final comment. Doop, 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 doop. I didn't know Clara took Spanish. Now I have to tell her something in Spanish. <clears throat> Clara, tu dibes hacia el pornographic ya toma mi pene dentro panocha estilio de perreo, ok, gracias. It was really nice to meet your mum and yes, she does cook a very, very good paella, so thanks for that. So not only are you giving me a great comment, but you're teaching me a new language too. And you know what? I love you for that. I love you, okay? This is Comment Corner. I'm Clara Hermit. Keep watching. Now it's time for uh, me to go and put my vagina back into solitude. Ciao, Bellas. Are you going to do it? You're not going to do it, though. Look at you. I know you're looking at me like, nah, I ain't going to do it. you got to do it. Okay. No, you have to. Cause I've seen your show. Yeah, and? Yeah, and you do them dares, but this is a big dare, so you got to do that. Okay. Yeah? Listen, if you don't put this up here, I swear down, I am coming back for you. Oh, tweet it now. Tweet it now. Tweet it now. Go, Jazzy said, tweet it now, right now. We're in the middle of an interview. Jazzy just finished. Go on. So tweet right now.